Well, this week we're going to do something a little bit exciting. Uh, I've decided to lay down a challenge, and the challenge is for my producer, Jasmine. Hi, Jazz. Hi, hey. And what I decided to get you to do was to renovate your mum's newly acquired kitchen. Where did she get her kitchen from? Trade me for $1,000. But if you want to update your kitchen that is already installed and is existing, this is the perfect way to do it, as long as you follow the correct procedure. Okay, there's a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a drop cloth, you're gonna need a screwdriver, masking tape, a stirrer, a roller, a correct roller sleeve, grade four, and you're gonna need resin smooth surface sealer and luster cruel paint, and don't forget the roller tray. Oh my God, you guys look so cute. Look at you demonstrating the products. <laughs> I love the scarves and the hair, sensational. Where's the scarf gone? <laughs> Don't talk about continuity. <laughs> okay, so what's mum doing here? She's up there, she's taking the cabinet fronts off. At Resine, they told me to take the cupboards off and that makes it much easier. What we did, you'll see later, is we laid them down all out on the table so they were ready to go. Okay, so prep was the key. What did you do to start with your prep? I want to make sure you got this right. All right, we started with newspapering the cabinets so we didn't have to take anything out. Yep. And then what we've done is we've masked around, so the splashback, and around all the edges where the cabinetry meets the wall. The key thing that um, Rosine told me was to get the specific masking tape. So it's a really good quality masking tape. Well, a good quality masking tape is going to stop the bleeding of the paint from moving in underneath it, as well as it's actually going to make it easy to get off afterwards, which is half the battle. Right, so there it is. Take your time, do your prep right, and then instantly the painting process is going to be much quicker and much easier. Okay, so now you guys are ready to do your undercoat, and this is so important. You need a resin waterborne smooth surface sealer, okay? It's an adhesion primer. Now the idea behind this is it's going to give you something to bond to the incredibly smooth surface. That is a Maltica or a Melamine, because without a good bond, nothing's going to stick and it's going to scratch and knock. Without this challenge, I never would have imagined that you can actually paint a Maltica or a Melamine surface. I thought you could only spray or get these wrapped. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, well, well I mean... Not now. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, that is the standard thing that most people would think to do. So the quote to get this respray to change the colour came to about $5,000. What are we at with your costs? A couple of hundred. No kidding. Yeah. So you're talking for a few hundred dollars. Yeah, a few. You've managed to update the kitchen. Yeah. And in two days. It's, it's so it's so easy. When we applied the smooth surface sealer, it's a really unusual texture. It's really thin, and um, it sort of can dry with, I guess, not bubbles but little specky patches. And it, I thought there was something wrong at first. Luckily I called my man at Rosine, who's my mate, <laughs> and um, he said, no, no, that's because that's the adhesion. So right. that creates a texture for then the paint to stick to. Right, so you don't go and sand that off? No. You that's have it. learnt a lot. I have, thank I you. Should, I should be coming to you for the advice. <laughs> okay, so you've taken the doors off, fantastic. So they're down there, door hardware off, so you've taken the hinges, you've taken the handles off, and now you can easily just start rolling the fronts. I love it. Look at that. So what we did for the smooth surface sealer is we each had a cutting in brush and we each had a roller. And so we'd cut in and roll at the same time, which we found not to be the way to do it. <laughs> okay, what's the best way to do it? So when we got to the um, first coat, Mum went round and cut in everywhere and then I just followed behind. Yeah, that's an easier way of doing it. Each person has their own job, sticks to it, does it well. So you've got to do your cutting in and rolling in a specific order and time frame. One of the most important things, no matter what you're actually going to roll, is to get the correct sleeve. Because all different types of sleeves are used for different types of paints and can give you different types of finishes. What colour did you go for? We chose Resine Talisman. It's a sort of a darker tone, but it really is a bit warmer than a classic grey. Yeah. It's got a brown base. Nice. It's nice to have a bit of warmth in the kitchen. I like that. I really like it. Okay, so you use Resine Lustercruel then to paint this? Yep, that's just what 
You suggested. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, me slash the people at Resine. Yeah, Resine. If you don't know, I think that's the key. Just go into your, your, your people at Resine and just say, hey, what do I need to use? We got everything there. So Resine Lustacrol, you know, um, it's the result of a lot of intensive research they've done. And it was a bit of a breakthrough product because traditionally um, those areas are totally reserved for sort of solvent-based enamels. But no more. Now you can wash everything out. It's acrylic, better for the environment, better for you using it. Two coats are always required to get that true depth of colour and I have to say it's starting to look amazing. So many people would have just been tempted to leave the timber veneer finish because there was nothing wrong with it technically and it looked okay but wow what a great decision it was for you guys to get stuck in and paint it. Two days, massive result. I think what really um, impacted the finish as well was just having really good quality product. So the paint went on flawlessly. It was so silky smooth. Thank you so much for this challenge, Hamish. Mum and I thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. She's got a beautiful, new-looking kitchen, and it was so cost-effective for our DIY budget. I love it. And Jazz, once again, thanks for doing all the work. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs>